What is up, football fans? From the GoMileHigh.com studios, it's time for Football Guys TV. I'm your host, Cecil Lammy. Let's take a look at the latest news and notes from around the National Football League. Let's start in Cleveland this week. Quarterback Brandon Whedon is going to be 29 years old during his rookie season, but that's really not a concern. Sure, when these chicks were in diapers, he was buying beer, but the point is this. Brandon Whedon can be a good pro quarterback. There's a couple of positives here. He has a strong arm, and he's not afraid to throw into tight coverage. However, poise is the biggest concern with this rookie. The fact that when his one wide receiver is rerouted, his first read, he doesn't like to go away from that. He locks on to his initial target. And we have to remember that in college, his superstar wide receiver, Justin Blackman, bailed him out a lot. Wide receiver Kenny Britt may need another procedure on his injured knee. Now we have to remember back to last season, he was on fire the first couple of weeks of the year until a week three knee injury against the Denver Broncos that cost him the rest of the season. Now the good news for Britt is that if he does have another procedure on this knee, it's going to be a minor procedure. The bad news for Britt is the Titans drafted Kendall Wright in the first round of the 2012 NFL Draft. Wright is a devastating playmaker. He's simply electric with the football in his hands, very explosive, and reminds a lot of scouts of the Panthers' Steve Smith. Jacksonville Jaguars second-year quarterback Blaine Gabbert has been named the unquestioned starter by Jags' new head coach Mike Malarkey, and why not? He's got Chad Henney behind him. Do you really think that switching to Chad Henney would be a good idea for this franchise that needs to know whether or not Blaine Gabbert can be a solid pro? Yes, I know, last year he played so timid that he made Justin Bieber look like a member of SEAL Team 6. But the Jags have added weapons this offseason in the passing game, including first-round superstar wide receiver Justin Blackman, free agent Lee Evans, and also Laurent Robinson. Oh, Timmy, Tim Tebow, second episode of Football Guys TV. Of course we've got to talk about Tim Tebow and high hopes for Tim Tebow with the New York Jets. Quarterback coach Matt Cavanaugh saying that he has good throwing motion. Has Cavanaugh been watching? I don't know. Uh, well, Tebow's got a lot to work on, certainly, but backing up quarterback Mark Sanchez this year, it's an absolutely brutal schedule for the Jets early on. And we know Mark Sanchez struggled mightily last season, so don't be surprised if some way before the midway point of the season, Jets have a week nine bye. Sometime before that, we could see Tim Tebow inserted as their starter. In the meantime, Tebow will serve as a Wildcat quarterback and could see up to 20 snaps per game. Jay Cutler wants to have a good season, nay, great season for the Chicago Bears this year, but he's got concerns about his offensive line, and why not? Jamarcus Webb is his left tackle. This guy couldn't block me, okay? This is a problem for Jay Cutler. Now, new offensive coordinator Jeremy Bates worked well with Cutler when the two were in Denver, so expect a lot of bootleg passes, a lot of rollouts to get Cutler's athleticism in play. Get him out, away from the pocket, away from the pass rush, and let him pass to new receivers Brandon Marshall and Alshon Jeffrey. Oh, Mike Shanahan. The Shanahanigans continue as the Washington Redskins just re-signed Tim Hightower as a street free agent. Now, Hightower comes in a very good pass protector, a good in-between-the-tackles runner, and a lot of people think that he'll be the starting running back if he's recovered from his left knee injury. Just when we thought they had this figured out, with Roy Hallou, Evan Royster, now Hightower in the mix. For fantasy purposes, you've got to avoid this at all costs. Unless you can get all three of those running backs really late and really cheap, let someone else deal with the Shanahanigans. It's time for our Twitter question of the week. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, at FootballGuysTV. This one comes in from at Tim Torch. He says, hey, what do you think about Carson Palmer's prospects this year? Well, we know last year Palmer threw a lot of picks and looked really rusty, but this season, working with offensive coordinator Greg Knapp may be very good for Palmer. Knapp's going to use Palmer on a lot of bootlegs and rollouts to get him away from pressure and to get his receivers more involved, very talented receivers like Denarius Moore. And do not forget about the rookie, Jerron Kreiner, already turning heads in minicamp. And this is a prospect, I, I saw Kreiner down at the Senior Bowl. He looked really good, long arms, knows how to box defenders out with his body, and reminds a lot of scouts of the Saints' Marcus Colston. From the GoMileHigh.com studios, that's a wrap for this week's edition of Football Guys TV. 
Hey, I want to remind you to check out footballguys.com and sign up for our free daily newsletter every morning right to your inbox, the latest news and notes from around the NFL with comments and opinion available at footballguys.com. From a man, Rob Wagner, the man of the box, get back in that box. I'm Cecil Lammy saying thanks for watching, stay tuned, and stay frosty.